Happy February guys and welcome back to my channel. St. Valentine's Day is not that far away anymore, so today let's make these cute little macrame hearts. You will only need one cord for this project. I'm using 5mm braided cord and while you're learning the knot I recommend you use a longer piece of cord. Fold it in half and pin it onto cork board. We have two half cords and for now the left one will be our working cord and the right one will be our base cord. Make a loop with the working cord so that it lies over the base cord. Pin the loop. Make another loop, this time the working cord goes under the base cord. Pin the second loop as well. One more loop, the working cord goes under the base cord. Now you have three loops in total, two on the left side from your base cord and one on the right side. Now take the base cord and make sure it goes under three cords counting from the bottom. That is, it should come out in our top left loop. Hold the same cord in your hands and return it back to the bottom left loop next to your lower pin on the left. You can always check if you did everything correct. You should be able to recognize a rectangle-like shape formed by the cords. Now unpin everything and tighten up the knot. Once you get to know the knot better, the tying will also take less time because you will know the structure of the knot and where exactly you need to pull, in which order to tighten it up. In the beginning it will be a lot of guessing game and just simply trying it. Trying different cords, pulling them in different directions. Take your time and make sure the knot is tight. It should look something like this. Pin it back onto a cork board. We are now going to make another cross knot, but a mirrored one. The left cord is now our base cord and the right cord becomes our working cord. Make one loop with the working cord. Make sure it goes over the base cord. Make the second loop on the left. The working cord this time goes under the base cord. And another loop on the right, the working cord goes under the base cord. Now our two loops are on the other side and our base cord again needs to go under three cords counting from the bottom. It should come out in the top right loop. and return back into the bottom right loop. I again find my rectangle to check if I did everything correct. And now I can unpin my knot and tighten it up. This knot is a bit easier to tighten up since you have two cords which are independent from each other. Make sure you pull tight on the cords which connect the two cross knots. 
try to minimize this tiny space in between knots. This will ensure that your heart is firm and not too wobbly. You can test it by stretching out the two knots. Next, pin the two knots at the bottom of the cork board. One of the cords, the one on the left, we can put aside for now and we will work with the cord coming up at the top of the knots. Make sure you extend the cord at least 10-15 cm. Make a loop as shown in the video and pin it. Well, maybe you can make it a bit bigger. Notice that the cord goes under itself when making the loop. On the next step, the cord crosses over itself. Now pin these two cords together. It will be easier to tie the next knot. Unpin your bottom two cross knots. And now this whole part, including the end we haven't used, needs to dive into this loop over here, under the two cords that we just pinned. Make sure you pull out the second tail as well. Now unpin our working loose tail Pull it under the part with two cross knots and into this tiny loop on the left. Unpin the whole thing and twist it around until you find the cross again. There it is. I will Tie it up for now so that I can understand where I am and in which direction I need to tighten up the knot. Now I can bring my new cross knot closer to the base. Take your time and make sure the knot is tight and exactly the same size as the other two knots. Like before, make sure the knot is as close as possible to the base. You can see that it's still a bit wobbly because there is only one cord connecting it to the rest of the knots. If you turn your heart around, you can see that there are these large stitches at the back of each knot. We will thread our working cord through this stitch to ensure more stability. I'm using a tapestry needle for that. And I'm coming from the top down through the stitch. And my heart is now all done. Depending on how you want to use your heart, you might want to keep the loose ends. I'm going to cut off my loose ends, but before I do that, I add some stitches for extra security. And 
that's it. You can turn it into a little pin or hair clip. Use it as a decoration for the box lid. Add it to an envelope with St. Valentine's card. It also works great with chunky wool and can make a cool home decoration. Imagination is your limit and I'm really curious what you come up with. If you happen to be on Instagram, share your creations with me by tagging me in your posts or stories. And like always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Sending lots of love your way and I will see you next time.